Warning, this video contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> You're disgusting. You stink. Stop making me sick. Stop fouling up the place. Get off the walls. Why do you discolor them? I know I messed up the walls, but I'm trying to show you what you're doing wrong. Just as I messed up the walls, so you mess up other people's lives. You offend them and tell them to behave instead of taking responsibility for your own actions. Some of you judge those who keep messing up. You mistreat them and shun them. That's not right. The person you have hurt has been through a terrible situation for a long time. He could be trying to make things right. So be kind to one another and try to help that person in some way. Many people say two wrongs don't make a right, yet they deliberately mess up when others make mistakes. They encourage people to do good, but they offend those who make mistakes. Many people accuse someone, they wouldn't let them talk and they shun them. That's messed up. The accused feels terrible and the accuser looks bad. Many people criticize those who are in trouble, and they compare them with themselves and they refuse to help them. That is the saddest thing that has ever happened. We all mess up at some point, but when you do the same things to them, you stir the hornet's nest. If your parents are mean to you and you disrespect them, you will be punished or thrown out of their house. If your caregivers are mean and you disrespect them, they'll call their boss and your parents and they will not work with you. If you are mean to your friends, they will stop hanging out with you. If you are mean to your girlfriend or boyfriend, they'll break up with you and you'll lose everything. If your boss is mean and you disrespect him or her, you'll get written up or fired. If your school teacher was mean and you disrespect him or her, you will be reported to the principal and they will call your parents and you will be punished for disrespecting your teacher, even when your teacher was wrong. If you offend the cops, you will get arrested. If you offend the judge, you will go to jail. If you were mean to other people on social media, you will be blocked. If you offend other people, they'll be on edge. It may lead to a fist fight or a gunfight or something. So be considerate and be kind to one another and show some respect and dignity. You'll live better lives. Some of you plot to kill them. If you kill them, we will find you. Some of you claim to know the law, yet you break them when you plot to kill someone. And we all know that it is illegal to do such things. So sing things through before coming to conclusions. Don't ever threaten anyone. Don't even encourage or endorse it. It doesn't matter who messed up. You do not threaten anyone. We will be contacted to pick you up. So watch yourselves. Threatening people will get you into trouble. It is something for your advice to avoid. Think before you speak. Some of you even bully someone. You laugh at them, you make fun of them, you insult them, you pick on them, you manipulate them, you harass them, you wouldn't lay off. That is terrible. The victims would be traumatized and someone would blow the whistle on you. Yes, you'll be punished for bullying someone. If you do it in school, you'll be expelled. If you bully someone in real life, it will be taken to the bank. If you cyberbully someone on the internet, you'll lose your social media privileges. You will regret your decisions. Bullying has has long-term negative effects on yourself and your victims. It is something we are advised to avoid. Some of you even think about doing wrong which may cause health problems. You need to change your thought process. Think positive. You and others will live better lives. Don't even think about doing bad things. You'll regret it. Use common sense and discernment. Resist temptation and do good things. Besides, 
We have no intention of messing up. We really don't mean to. We've been through a difficult situation and we're trying to deal with it. We have our responsibilities. The victims are hurting inside and they are not happy about your attitude. It was not right. I understand that you have problems of your own, but taking it out on others is not the way to handle things. The right way to handle things is to manage your emotions. Grab a journal and mechanical pencil and write down your thoughts, experiences, events, and stuff. You might want to pause this video and write it down now. Pause this video and write this down. Pause this video and write this down. When you're done writing, read it out loud and think about what you just wrote. Think about the good things. Got a headache? Take some Tylenol or Motrin and take a little nap. Go for a walk to clear your mind and settle your emotions. And at an opportune time, exercise and eat healthy and drink plenty of water. Meditate. Settle your emotions, mind, and soul. Do something you enjoy the most. Think positive and try to do many good things. Do this every day and you'll get better and stronger every day. You'll do many good things. Your anger is extremely important. It decreases stress, it improves depression, it helps others feel good, it increases happiness, it keeps things into perspective, and it provides purpose. Doing good increases life expectancy. It helps you live longer. You'll have good experiences. Doing good is extremely important. It is something we are advised to do. I strongly encourage you to give it a try. You need to stop yelling and mistreating someone for doing good. They'll have more difficulties doing what they should. They are doing their best to do good. They are assigned to try their best. So just chill out, show some respect and dignity, be kind to them, and appreciate everything they do. When we were young, we were taught to do good to others, especially those who are mean. Think about someone who is less fortunate than you are and try to help that person in some way. When someone has problems, find out what caused them and find solutions for them. That is sure to satisfy the mean ones. Now I have to go clean up the mess I have made. And I have to deal with my own sickness too.